What's unique about DFS is that we speak to the international luxury traveler. Everything we do really embodies three qualities, one being luxurious, second being adventurous, and the third being delightful. Luxurious in that it's not just about the product, it's about the experience. The second adventurous in that it's a spirit of travel behind um, our brand and behind our products. And the third being delightful in that we try to delight our customers at every touch point. Uh, Masters of Wines and Spirits being one of the touch points. Uh, we've always had it in Singapore. We see Singapore as an international luxury market for us um, with a, a great customer base. Um, and why we chose the home is because it's the ultimate in luxury to get that personal, to get that intimate and that inclusive with your customer. Uh, so hence we're here this evening. There are many links between DFS and Singapore. We have been here uh, for more than 35 years uh, with uh, working with the Changi Airport and working today with our downtown store and Scotts Road. And uh, these relationships and these businesses have been developed and invested in for many, many years. The reason to do this event, the, the Masters of Wine Spirits here in Singapore, is that Singapore has become more and more a platform, one of the international platforms for luxury products. It is a regional center. We have a strong partnership here with Changi Airport. We are actually in the airport. We are the retailer for liquor and wines and spirits and tobacco. And so all these uh, aspects put together made it that we wanted to have this unique event, which we only do once a year, in which we invite 600 of the most uh, sophisticated and demanding customers to meet 65 of the best brands with 80 most exceptional products here in Singapore. So to do it here because of all these reasons. The most amazing thing about uh, working and living in Singapore in the cocktail scene, both on the consumer side and also on the producer side, on the, on the bartender side, is the fact that Singapore is unique in the world, wherein that it doesn't have any previous uh, history, it doesn't have any previous style. In London you have a very unique history, a very a specific history uh, for drinking. In New, in New York you have the quintessential New York cocktail style. Um, in, in Australia you have a lot of molecular and in Tokyo you have the very much Japanese style. Well Singapore's never had any of that. We're not shackled by these notions of what should be, what could be. And because of that they embrace all of the styles. And at the same time they've always been a culture, a community that's sort of fighting for its own rights, its own way of standing above the rest and saying we can do this on our own. What do I think about Masters of Wine and Spirits in Singapore? Well, it's interesting because when I think about the whole event, it reminds me of other luxury events, things I've been to in Geneva or Basel for watches, for example. But then it's about the best in wine and spirits. And when you see the uh, selection of wines, there's this amazing stuff, and it comes from the cellars of these top wineries, which means a lot. And then the spirits, the cognacs, the whiskies. You're looking at things that you just can't find anywhere else in the world. It's really exciting. If you're into super premium wine and spirits, it's a chance in a lifetime. Well, Singapore is really a hub in many ways in Southeast Asia. Singapore is part of any trip, uh, almost, bringing you to multi countries, multiple countries like Thailand, uh, Indonesia, um, Malaysia and others. And so it is also, it has been for many years, the most important trading post in Asia. And today, uh, Singapore really has become a very modern, developed entertainment, uh, hospitality and retail place here in Southeast Asia. So we want to be part of that. We have been part of it for 35 years. We want to continue to be part of it and offer our customers who come to Singapore unique experiences, unique concepts, products, services, so that we can add to the overall traveling experience they will have here in Singapore. Singapore, of course, fantastic place, 
the center of the universe for fine wine in Southeast Asia. And it all makes sense. Amazing wines, wines from the cellars of Top Chateau, wonderful wineries in Australia, California, and then incredible cognacs, whiskies, everything. It's all happening in Singapore. It's a melting pot, truly a melting pot of all the most current, most relevant, most beautiful ways of bartending. And there's no judgment for that. And same with the drinkers. One night you could drink tiki cocktails that are of a world-class caliber. And the next night you can go and have a beautiful hotel evening at a nice bar on the third floor or fourth floor of an old hotel and have an absolutely stunning whiskey and an absolutely stunning glass with hand-carved ice. And no one will bat an eye. It's that diversity, it's that commitment to passion, it's that longing to have a mark of their own that makes Singapore currently one of the most magical places, I think, for drinking. And it's also because it's so far removed from everybody else that everybody is wondering, well, what is going on in this little oasis in what is generally known as a cocktail desert? Asia not known for cocktails, not with the history that we have in Europe, the history that we have in the US. And yet here it is, currently one of the hottest markets in the world. And I think that big reason why, both on the drink side and on the producer side, on the bartender side, is it because we are unbounded by any kind of history. We are writing our own history now.